happy transfer tuesday guys so welcome back to the channel thank you thank you thank you for joining me today to find out what my numbers are and i'm excited because i feel like i am making progress towards bringing down the amount for chase while i'm also putting money towards my student loans i'm going to be giving you guys what i've what payments i've made towards uh chase from last tuesday to this tuesday and i'm also going to give you a total number of how much everything like what's the difference between um july 27th to august 27th on the amounts that i did make payments towards any debt that i have right so let's get started because i'm excited i'm so excited so chase flex from last tuesday to this tuesday i've made two payments I made a $150 payment and I also made a $7.60 payment as well. So that's a whole total of $157.60 towards Chase Flex, which I think is pretty good. It's really good. Um, I know WAG was kind of slow. I know someone asked me, what is WAG? WAG is an app that you're able to walk dogs. So you get paid let's just say if it's 20 minutes i'll get paid anywhere from 13 to even 21 dollars okay just to do a 20 minute walk it all depends on the timing of the day um especially the holidays now that the holidays are going to be coming in i am definitely going to be walking dogs because the money's going to go up so i'm going to be walking dogs so that's what it is it's a, it's a dog walking app um, so I made that amount towards Chase. I also made a payment towards student loans, which was the amount of $15. So that was from last Tuesday to this Tuesday. And those are the amounts that I made towards debt. Now, remember this? I said every once a month, I'm going to tell you my numbers so we can see the progress go down as I am paying down debt. So July 27th, I was at 4236.45. As of today, I am at $3,664.23. That was the that that went down a whole lot. My Apple credit card, and the only reason why I'm doing it is because all my totals is gonna is I'm doing all of it to see what payments I am making. So Apple credit card, for some reason, I think I made the payment before the 27th of July. And that's why it doesn't reflect to this amount because I was like, wait a minute, I know I made a payment towards Apple, but I did. I, If I'm not mistaken, the way I'm looking at it, which I didn't check, but the way I'm seeing it is that I made the payment before July 27th because my Apple credit card is due on the 30th of every month. So I made an early payment. That's what happened. So it didn't reflect here. So my Apple credit card is at $1,456.68 for as of today. These animals love to fight. Y'all just going to see them. I know y'all see them. Um, so the Apple credit card stood the same. So as far as my loans, um, I'm not going to go through each one only because I didn't make a, uh, I didn't allocate a payment towards a specific one. I did it towards the, the whole total. So my total, um, now for what well, my total was for student loans was 11,400, right? And $65. Yes. $65. Now my student loans is at $11,450. So the total now for my debt as of today is $16,570.91. So I've paid so far in a whole month it's breaking my heart because that could be in my bank account. That could be in my savings. That could be me having fun. That could be me putting towards retirement. That could be towards emergency. That could be towards my vet fund. It could be towards anything. So this is going to motivate me to keep pushing, to keep going because I need this money in the long run to be in my savings account. That's where this money needs to be, not paying someone else. So that is where I'm at today. If anything, guys, I see you guys next Tuesday. And for the total grants of 
my zet i'll see you guys next month for the total number on how much i am down in debt so thank you guys for joining me i hope you guys do um enjoy my videos if you guys do please give me a thumbs up on your way out don't forget to subscribe and i'll be seeing everyone in my next video bye